Hundreds of kids packed into the Center for Learning at Okanagan College Friday afternoon with their robots in tow for the Western Canadian RoboCup Junior Games. 45 teams of students in grades 5 through 12 tackle specific challenges with their robots. A team from St. Joseph's Elementary spent three months building their robot for the soccer challenge. Pretty good! We've snagged first and second and I think third. I think programming was probably the most challenging part. Robots in the other challenge, the obstacle course, were judged on a number of criteria by a panel of judges. So we're judging on things like um, continuity of the robot moving along the line. Um, it's tracking using infrared sensors or light sensors. So the robot will move around. How much it deviates from that line will actually determine its score. Um, if it gets past the obstacles that are on the course, such as the line break. Um, also, there's debris on the, uh, on the track and a, an actual obstacle they have to navigate around. The top three teams in today's competition will qualify for the World Robo Cup in Germany next summer. But at the end of the day, the competition is all about education. So we give them the opportunity to troubleshoot and really learn. Like, learning is the, the ultimate goal of this and create some enthusiasm and get the awareness up for, for the younger generation. For Castanet News, I'm Nick Johansson.